the rest of my percussion, I just have... I wanted a four to the floor sort of vibe. But I didn't want the kick doing four to the floor. So I wanted people to be able to lock into a groove that was a bit familiar. Because again, I've seen people try and dance the half time, they can't quite get it. They can get into the four four, right? It's easier to get into. So it's just something for them to lock in. It's not a blatant element, but it's enough for them to lock into. Another four to the floor uh, sort of vibe is the off hat. So what I've essentially got is, so it's kind of techno, but if you imagine the kick doing that, that's kind of the, the groove, right? But again, it's a bit more of a, of a psychoacoustic thing. If I take that out, even that one, the groove has just changed dramatically. But you can kind of get into that, yeah? So it's really just picked up the pace. So again, it's just subtleties that are creating um, extra energy. And you can drop these in and out of the mix as well. So when you're arranging and you want to bring the energy down, you can use these subtleties to create a bigger um, impact than actually, you know, you're not using a big process or a big thing to make a big difference. You're just taking things out where people know something's changed, but it's not loads. You've just literally took a hi-hat out, but actually the whole energy just drops. So it's not to say you have to do these big crazy changes in a different section. That's what techno does so well. It's a hi-hat that's gone, but all of a sudden it sounds like the track's gone to a different place or the hi-hat's there or it's gone and then it's there. But it, it, it's perceived to be a much bigger process. And then I've got individual kind of percussive sounds. Everything's on individual tracks. Um, I don't generally don't sequence from one kit, so I'll take a bongo from here, a snare from here, a hi-hat from here, and I'll have my rhythm section made up of all individual sounds that come together. They're all tuned, they're all in key, they're all musical, they're all processed differently. Whereas some of you have said you like to kind of give that consistency, what I like to do is the opposite. I like everything to sound like it's coming from a different place, but it's still a part of the same thing, if that makes sense. So if you listen to it, Some of it does stand out like a sore thumb, but that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want it to all sound like a part of the same kit in the same room. And that's generally what I try to do. So things will have a different reverb. Things will have a different process on them. And then there's this weird kind of bamboo sound here. Sometimes my rhythm sections, as, as much as they might sound simple, they can consist of about 10, 15 individual elements that have all kind of contributed towards that rhythm section. They'll all be sent through the same send, the same parallel compression to give it that, that glue, but often they're sent to different effects to give it the separation. So the, the consistency comes from the parallel compression, but then I also like to introduce separation rather than everything sounding like it's a part of the same thing. Everything's kind of conversating and bouncing off of each other as well in call and response. It's all kind of talking. 